It is the 27th of the 3rd, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Well, let's go ahead and get started on SOP.net. Ecuador's Tung Tunguraja volcano emits 3 kilometer ash cloud and, um, and explosions. Volcano's activity has been increasing. Ecuador's Institute of Throughout the morning of March 26th, a constant column of steam and ash was rising from the summit crater, reaching up to three kilometers in height and drifting towards the northeast uh, where ash fall occurred. Uh, and I'm on the extinction protocol, excuse me. 6.0 magnitude earthquake strikes off the coast of Japan as an ongoing situation in a seismically very active area, especially after the big 9.0. And it continues to rumble. Guatemalan volcanoes increase activity. Uh, again, 33 explosions um, at Santiaguito volcano, uh, one of two volcanoes very active. And uh, that's about all I want to cover from there tonight. Over to EarthChangesScott.net. Of course, they've got the 6.0 earthquake off the coast of Japan. Colorado wildfire kills one and chars homes. Uh, Conifer, Colorado. One person has been found dead in a Colorado wildfire that burned more than four and a half square miles and destroyed at least five homes in the mountains southwest of Denver, authorities said on Monday. Well, they've got the Guatemalan volcano story. Uh, question, ice age next. Bering Sea teeming with ice. Uh, basically, they get down to it. Um, they've had the most increase in ice coverage in the Bering Sea. Uh, that's up around Alaska and in the Arctic um, since satellites have um, been checking the, the thickness and whatnot. Uh, they're saying it's all fresh new ice and it's not supposed to last, but uh, it's definitely a record-breaking year up in the uh, Bering Sea, Alaskan area. High number of sick dolphins may be linked to Gulf oil spill may be linked to Gulf oil spill. Sickly, underweight, bottlenose dolphins living and dying in northern Gulf of Mexico may be the result of exposure to oil that gushed into the water after the Deepwater Horizon oil rig explosion. Um, what, no mention of the hundreds of millions of gallons of Corexit uh, that they polluted the Gulf with? Uh... That's about all new they have going on today. Over to the RSOE. Uh, flash flooding in the Philippines. Well, they got some severe weather going through. Big forest fire in Bhutan. Um, they've got an environmental pollution uh, report out on Japan, um, Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Uh, basically, they're going into the story where they went into the probe in number two. They only discovered there was like 66 centimeters of water instead of they, they expected five times more the amount. Uh, they don't know where the water went. Uh, they're going to investigate. Uh, but they definitely say it's going to make cleanup a lot harder than they anticipated. Uh, i got a nuclear event in the state of Virginia, the North Anna Nuclear Generating Station. And you remember that's the one that was struck by the earthquake last year. Um, and the inspectors gave it a thumbs up. It's running at 100% capacity. They found some major cracks and some major pipes. And uh, they're trying to reevaluate the situation there. Uh, but they are still producing energy. And I hear that uh, they're breaking ground to build a new one in that locale. Of course, the, the Colorado forest fire stories, the Guatemalan volcano stories. Uh, we got an extreme weather um, story out of Brazil. Uh, apparently, a, a family was killed by lightning when their house was struck. Um, very uh, active time of year for those folks as well. That's about all new I have climate change today. Over to the nuclear stuff. I'm just going to hit E&E &E news today. Uh, story mother school had children clean up highly contaminated area and relocate dirt without telling the parents <sighs> Unbelievable AP hardly any cooling water inside one of the reactors. This is number two 
a water level only 6% of estimate, estimate. Radiation at 10 times fatal dose. And you got to remember they are not actually taking measurements in these things. They're using uh, Westinghouse computer models um, to base their opinions on. 73 sieverts per hour detected at re reactor number two, measured four meters from the bottom. And again, that's the, the fatal amounts of radiation, of course. Uh, more stories on the earthquakes hitting the area. An M uh, magnitude 5.1 and a 6.4 hit at the same location. Uh, again, the Gunderson story still going on. Tokyo soil would be nuclear waste in the United States. Radiation spiked near Fukushima, highest in months for I wait double normal levels. So something's going on in Fukushima they're not telling us about. Uh, we got an official, the children are the sacrifices. The businesses forced the mayor to keep children here. And this is 25 kilometers from the Fukushima Daiichi plant because it's outside that 20 kilometer exclusion zone that they deemed safe. Former Fukushima governor who took on TEPCO, my friends committed suicide, one still in the coma. Just the insanity that's continuing in the hierarchy. Hydrogen's level quadruple at reactor number two in the last two weeks, and this is again why they, they brought in the probe back in, and um, there's a lot of crazy things going on in reactor number two. That is about all I'm going to cover tonight. Um, we're going to keep it short and simple today. Of course, if I missed anything, please uh, uh, put your comments or attach your videos below. Enjoy while you can, everybody. It really is a beautiful day.